it's an a absolute pleasure uh, to welcome the panel today for our third conference uh, on digital pleasure. Uh, after the panel, we'll have a performance. And the performance, uh, Honey, I'm, is a reiteration of a, of a project by Kaken uh, called Honey, I'm Data. Um, and I, I just want to make sure that um, I credit all of the artists uh, that were part of this project. So I'd just like to say uh, a huge thank you to um, Susanna Pettigrew, uh, Sophie Mars, AGF Hydra, um, sound artist Natty Saruti, Hannah Amori, uh, Tana, uh, Tani Cruz, Isabel Ramos, and the 3D uh, video design is by George Jasper Stone. Uh, it's an absolute um, honor to have these amazing talents uh, with me today. Uh, I, I introduce, uh, this is um, Isabel Ramos. She's uh, one third of the co-founders of uh, Kaken uh, Art Collective. Uh, this is AGF Hydra. She's an artist, designer, and um, fashion activist. Um, Sophie Mars, we have in the end here, is a performer and dance therapist. Um, yeah, it's, I, yeah, I'm so excited to speak yeah. to you guys because I, you know, I'm so familiar with what you do, yes. but I'm so excited to introduce um, your concepts and your, your world and your universe and your, your thought process and your ways of thinking. Um, can you maybe just start, maybe, Issy, it's a, yeah. a, as a good uh, starting point to just explain a little bit about your process and your collaboration as a collective yeah. and how, how, how you approach that essentially with your, that collective consciousness. Yeah, um, yeah well, um, Kaken was kind of co-founded by three of us. However, it's a collective of like multiple different people, of artists and musicians. And when someone comes into a project, it's not just uh, the three of us, everyone becomes part of this entity. And we see it as this kind of like ecosystem and this kind of open source practice. Um, there's kind of a, we do a lot of, every time that someone comes in, it like adds or transforms the project and becomes kind of our like own. It's not kind of tied to, we try to work collaboratively as much as possible and all the roles are very interchangeable. Um, so people are doing multiple different things and we're often getting together and trying to think really critically together to create kind of, uh, these kind of world or very immersive spaces that push the boundaries of immersivity. Um, and I think what's, what's nice is it's very challenging. Today, there is so much uh, kind of hyper-individualism and there's so much belief in like your own personal b view being the most like prevalent, prominent thing. Mm. When when we get together and include other people, it's challenging. It challenges your own ego. It's not like, I don't want to like put us like on a pedestal or anything like this. It's just we're trying to create a kind of more collective space that we can uh, try to challenge our own ego, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I don't know how. And it's really nice because um, about a year, we started talking with uh, AGF Hydra, Anna here, um, online, and it just, we had a lot of similar ideas and connected, and it's just kind of evolved rapidly, and also Sophie as well, met online as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys want to say anything about. No, I think that what's been really interesting about um, us meeting up and developing projects together is that we sort of, now behind the fact that um, obviously it feels amazing to uh, produce a work that you're proud of and you feel like you create a dialogue with other artists, I think that it's more the idea of feeling safe in your vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. I think that personally as an individual, I feel the need to live in a society that is different from the one that I've been known, knowing until now. Mm -hmm. So I want to live in a place where being exposed and like unlayer yourself um, and you know, showing your perception of things is not judgeable, it's more like something that is shareable. 
because I think what's the scariest thing um, when in your in everybody's practice is the fear of failure, the idea that you know the outside world is something that is you are not connected to. It's like loneliness, really, in the practice. And I think that the um, although it's always challenging to work with someone else, it's amazing to feel like you're not on your own and you're just building up an idea that is, uh, it's almost like creating a transpersonal entity that mm -hmm. transcends our individualities and we are a th one thing, mm -hmm. evolving. So it's like this evolving consciousness that we are creating, uh, the possibility of growth. Mm. But uh, how that kind of, uh, the, the multiplicity of, of that journey uh, I think is really fascinating with how, you know, how, how I've seen you work and how I've seen you um, communicate as well, I think is, 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 really, uh, is really exciting in terms of kind of this, um, uh, I guess, kind of this more, um, un a bigger understanding of the future of communication is essentially um, and how, how that kind of feeds back into your sort of the digital URL and IRL uh, expressions of, uh, of our everyday kind of contemporary existence. Like how, I guess, how does that fit in with Sophie, with you, with your performance? And how do you, how do you have something to add in that sense? Well, I just wanted to add to what we were saying before that the way we work creatively, we kind of um, hope to see that um, as a microcosm of, of how we would like society to be in general as a, uh, on a larger scale. Mm. So this kind of collective, conscious, open source sharing really on a horizontal level where everyone's kind of, of equal uh, importance and um, can fulfill their desires and... Um, yeah, and in terms of the digital, I mean, we all met online and it was funny because some might think still that online is such an Im impersonal way of meeting, but actually it was kind of like this aura, like we were energetically drawn to each other and we knew even online that we would work well together and we have such a similar aesthetic and vision of the future. It's kind of amazing that just with one click on Instagram, we can feel literally so connected and we've created this network um, mm. Well, it really yeah. subverts that idea of, of the, I guess, kind of the, I, the original, like how you would think about technology in terms of we're all beco we're all becoming um, kind of lonely and, 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 and impersonal. But in, in a sense, you're subverting that idea and you're connecting and you're making um, much more uh, worthwhile relationships. I think and. I think that's really fascinating about what you guys do. And yeah, do you wanna? No, I just find it very funny how technology is most of the time seen in a dystopian way when mm -hmm. everything in itself has um, potential for negative or positive, and negative or positive is not necessarily good or bad. Mm -hmm. So it's not really technology that can isolate you. It's your fears towards technology, mm. if you hide yourself behind your avatar and you know you don't use the possibility to really connect in a fluid way, that's when you're losing. So that's why we talk a lot about liquidity and fluidity because we want to transcend our biological limitations and just keep this um, circling. <laughs> Um, and I think already, I mean, we already, we're kind of already starting to transcend from thinking about, so often we tie self to our body when already we're starting to have kind of multiple selves in line. And with the advance of technology and biotechnology, um, there's this, we're trying to kind of think about what that could mean and sort of test drive uh, ideas about these possible futures where you might not associate your personhood or identity to your bo one body, it might be to your environment because you might, there could be the potentials that you would not occupy the biosphere, the earth, but also like kind of cyber metaverse or different place. And we want to kind of question what does this 
mean to self and I think by trying to work collaboratively and explore this we're kind of trying to test drive and also consider these implications because yeah. obviously there's a lot of accelerationism with this technology and still we don't really understand what consciousness is uh, so often you think about it as this voice or this uh, narrative that speaks to you through your like the subject narrative yourself mm -hmm. but we still don't really understand what that is so we kind of need to explore that and with the development of technology we need to be more uh, uh, emotionally intelligent I think um, yeah. yeah I think that's <laughs> I, I, I hope we can all kind of move forward into this higher consciousness of, of being and understanding um, people around us. Um, I, I, I guess in terms of because um, uh, role playing comes a lot, uh, or, or, or it kind of uh, surfaces a lot in your work. So I guess can you tell me a bit more about that? The future is fluid. Welcome to the first day of your new life. You are about to begin a journey into another of your infinite selves. In every movement, I can feel each of you. In every movement, I am each of you. This is my ultrasonic rebirth ritual. It allows me to be reborn into each of you. Every day we are reborn. Every day we are reborn. A utopic lab of biotechnologically advanced interconnected entities practicing awareness towards a higher state of consciousness, a perpetual act of selfless love, fluid exchange. This charge is perfectly normal. Our organic bodies mutate into intelligently designed forms, a fusion of artificial intelligence with biotechnology. The body, your feelings and social bonds disappear and transform. Consciousness leaps from our organic bodies into the cyberverse removed from a strait, using this access to access other worlds. In this fluid future, what holds large groups of humans together is no longer nationalism and is instead a cosmic perspective. The future is fluid, a post-democratic, post-human, self-generating ecosystem. Far more advanced, our possibilities of self and selves are exponential. Fluidity extends beyond a spectrum, not just one dimensional or linear, but multi dimensional and boundless. It is not just self, but multiple selves, everyone and everything. This charge is perfectly normal. The future is fluid. Thank you. 
Samiran, 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 Samiran. Samiran 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 Samiran, 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 Samiran. The mira, the mira, the mira, the mira, the mira.
Talk This charge is perfectly normal. This charge is perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. This charge is perfectly normal. Discharge 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 is perfectly Perfect. Dick. Perfectly Discharge is perfect perfectly. Dis discharge is perfect. Dis discharge is perfect. Discharge is perfectly normal. Discharge is perfect is perfect perfectly. Discharge is perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. Self, but multiple selves, everyone and everything. Far more advanced, our possibilities of self and selves are exponential. Fluidity extends beyond the spectrum, not just one dimensional or linear, but multi dimensional and boundless. It is not just self, but multiple selves, everyone and everything. Fallen, sehr nervant. 
se apetecen, se acometen, se enlazan, se entrechocan, se agazapan, apresan, se dislocan, se perforan, se incrustan, se acribilan, se remachan, se inyectan, se atonían, se desmayan, reviven, resplandecen, se contemplan, se inflaman, se enloquecen, se derriten, se sueldan, se calcic, se refelen, se enervan, se apetecen, se acometen, se enlazan, se entrechocan, se agazapan, apresan, se dislocan, se perforan. the spectrum, not just one-dimensional or linear, but multi-dimensional and boundless. It is not just self, but multiple selves, everyone and everything. In. In. beyond the spectrum, not just one-dimensional or linear, but multi-dimensional and boundless. It is not just self, but multiple selves, everyone and everything. Now just stay there, just stay in your bliss. Now just stay there, 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 now floating in space.
and I'll be the best you can this Cause it's life in my own Baby, I'll give you the truth Future, 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 future